If somebody sends you a document, like let's say this one right here, converting to 2010, you can see the extension .doc, or you can see the pop-up that says it was created in Microsoft Word of 97. Well, it doesn't say it was created in 97. It just says somewhere between those versions of 97 through 2003. When you double-click to open it up, remember, this document is not as stable because it's missing that, well, that language, X, XML for Extensible Markup Language. So you're missing out on the automatic compression that's applied to the Word 2010 document and also the stability. So if there's any bugs or issues, because you have it, you can see up here in the uh, title, Compatibility Mode, it's not really compatible with the uh, Word 2010 program, then you may lose it your chances of recovering it are lessened. So what we want to do is we want to convert it from the earlier version of Word, which I don't know, could be 97, 2003, or 2000, to the current version of Word 2010. And when it does that, it'll take the extension of .dlc and add the X, again, the language that makes it more stable. So to convert it, really simple, come over here, click on the File tab, go to Info, it's already selected, and click on Convert. When you click on it, says the action will convert the document to the newest file format, make it more stable, reduces the size of your file here, which is great. Click okie dokie. And then when we're done, we can go ahead and close out. We can be sure to save our work. And then when we save it, we can come back here. And then it was this file right here, right? Converting to 2010. Instead of .doc, it has the X. And when I hover over it, it doesn't say Microsoft Word 97 through 2003, so it's been converted. Double click to open it up. There's the X for extensible markup language, the stable language for uh, Microsoft uh, Word 2010, and it doesn't have in brackets compatibility uh, mode. So I would make sure that anybody who sends you an earlier version of Word that you uh, convert it, so that way it's more stable and a smaller file size. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos, and for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.